So in this example, we're being told that we have five consecutive integers that have a sum of 75, and they want to know what are the integers. So our first step here is to create an equation that we can solve, right, in order to get our five consecutive integers, right? So we can do that the following way. Starting with our first integer, we'll just call n. So we have n. Here's my first integer. And remember, it's consecutive, so the next one will look like this, plus n plus 1, right? So here's my first one, my second one, plus n. Now, instead of plus 1, we're going to do plus 2, right? Remember, it's consecutive. And then plus, this will be n plus 3, right? And then plus n plus 4, and this is all going to be equal to 75, so again, here are my five consecutive integers, one, two, three, four, and five, and their sum is going to be 75, right? Equal to 75. So what we're gonna do here is solve for n. Once we have n, we can plug it in, and we can get our five consecutive integers. So let's go ahead and combine our like terms. So we have here, 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 and here. So combining the n's, we're gonna get 5n. Then combining our constants, one plus two is three, plus three is six, plus 4 is 10, equal to 75. So we want a minus 10 on both sides. So we get 5n is going to be equal to 65, and then divide both sides by 5. So we can see here that n is equal to 13, right? Again, they want us to list the integers. So we know that our first integer is going to be 13, right? And then if we add 1, so let's make a list. We're going to get 13. Here we get 14, right here we're going to get 15, here we get 16, and here we're going to get 17. So these are going to be the five consecutive integers that when I add them, their sum is going to be 75. Okay, and that is it.